Hi, and welcome to the Retrex video tutorials. I'm Ben, and today I'm going to show you how to change an old style pulley and how to mount a pulley adapter so you can run the new style pulley. So, we're going to break this procedure down in a couple of steps. Firstly, we're going to remove the old style pulley, then, we're going to mount the pulley adapter. Now, to mount an old style pulley again is basically the same procedure as mounting the pulley adapter. However, you'll be using a different tool to hold the pulley. We're going to begin by removing the old pulley. To do that, we're going to need a breaker bar fitted with an 8mm Allen key and a tool to hold the pulley. This one is actually a 3D printed version that's available on our website. So, to remove the pulley, we're going to fit the pulley removal tool to hold the pulley. We're then going to use our breaker bar to loosen the bolt in the middle. This may require some force. Once the center bolt is loose, we can remove it by hand. Now that we've removed the center bolt, we can remove the pulley. We can now see the interface between the supercharger and the pulley, which in this old style is a smooth surface. If we look at our pulley adapter, you can see it has the same interface as the pulley and we're going to reuse the center bolt to fasten it to the supercharger. Before fitting the pulley adapter, it's important that you clean the mating surfaces to make sure that there isn't any grease. So, we're going to use a rag with a bit of brake cleaner on it to clean the surfaces, both on the pulley adapter and on the supercharger. With the pulley adapter, or pulley and supercharger clean, we now have to grease the threads. To do that, we're going to use a small screwdriver and go down into the threads and apply it. Make sure that you don't apply it on the surface that the pulley adapter or pulley is supposed to make with. If you do that, clean the surfaces again. Now that the thread has been greased, we can take our pulley adapter or pulley and firmly press it onto the supercharger. We can then take our center bolt and thread it by hand into the thread. Now we can use the pulley adapter holder tool to hold onto the pulley adapter. We can thread in the new bolts from the new pulley. With the pulley adapter holder securely in place, we're going to grab our torque wrench and set it to 70 Newton meters. We're then going to tighten the center bolt. Now, with the center bolt tightened, we can remove our pulley adapter tool. Now that you have your pulley adapter mounted, you can mount the new style pulley. The procedure for that is in a separate video. Please be aware, if you're using a non-Rotrex branded pulley, check the bolt depth. The bolt should not protrude more than 5mm from the back side of the pulley. We hope this video has been helpful and we hope you have fun with your supercharger.